Remember the carefree days as a teenager where we could play all the video games that we wanted? And now, adult life has hit us like a truck, and we are bogged down by work and other commitments. There are just so many next-gen graphics PC games and other triple game titles out there, but we are stuck with a work laptop for portability or a MacBook. And the idea of buying a dedicated gaming PC is just crazy because we don't even game as often as before. Now, the obvious answer would be cloud gaming. I mean, why buy a gaming PC where you can game on the cloud via NVIDIA GeForce Now, Google Stadia, or even set up your own Amazon EC2 cloud gaming VM? But trust us, we have tried those solutions, but we were disappointed by the input lag, pixelation, and frame drop issues. Decentralized servers were simply too far away from where we were gaming, and coupled with the poor internet infrastructure, cloud gaming wasn't the solution. So that got us thinking, wouldn't it be great if we could bring the cloud closer to us or scrape the idea of a centralized server altogether? Wouldn't it be great if we could connect to nearby idle gaming PCs in the neighborhood for the highest gaming performance at the lowest latency? Think of it like an Airbnb for gaming PCs. And this is where Pfizer Gaming comes in. We want to be the platform to connect gamers and renters for the lay consumers like yourself without all the technical mumbo jumbo like setting up bitcoin wallets installing dependencies that other gpu sharing services do today all right let us take you through our app as you can see here this is a laptop running intel integrated graphics so basically what this means is that you cannot play any demanding games on this machine you can create an account with us here but since you already have an account we're just going to sign right in Alright, so your account is linked to your Steam library and we made it such that the dashboard is easy to navigate and it shows the games that you recently played and other newly released games. For now, let's head to the e-wallet account management section. We have about $17 right now in this account and you can choose to have a pay-per-use credit system or monthly plan subscription basis. So let's say I want to top up $18 into this account. There are a few top up options including PayNow, Visa, Master. But since we already have uh, $17 in the account, let us dive straight into the gaming session. I am going to game for one and a half hours. And let's say if I'm not too sure about the graphics card that I need, no worries about that. I can just select the game that I want to play. In this case, I'm going to play Witcher 3. Our software will then now match you to host devices that meet the GPU requirement and can run the game for you on the device. The top 3 matches will be displayed and you can take a pick depending on the ratings and review. Let's go with the first one. Now that the connection is successful, uh, you may close the window and start your remote gaming session. Usually you have to log into your Steam account to access your games. But for the sake of the demonstration here, let's jump into the game straight away. So what is happening now is that the game which our laptop was unable to run is now being executed on someone else's gaming PC. Their PC does the heavy lifting and the laptop simply receives the video stream, similar to watching Netflix which is less resolve intensive. You might be wondering about the security. Don't worry. The whole gaming session is run in the background of the host device and they will not be able to see what you are doing and the whole process is secure. Once you have ended your session, you can pay via cash or credit. On the other hand, if you have a gaming PC and would like to recoup your initial buying costs, you can rent out your PC during downtime for cash or credit. The process is really simple. Simply select the date and time you want to rent out your computer and leave our application running in the background. Now that we have successfully scheduled a session, let's close the app and go ahead with our day. Oh, it looks like a client has connected to our computer. Let's take a look. By clicking on a notification, you can see a quick breakdown of the current user's gaming session. Here we can see that the user will be gaming for about one and a half hours. In addition, you will also be able to see a clear breakdown of how much you are expected to earn from this session. 
If you need to end the user's session prematurely, feel free to submit a request. However, do take note that you'll be subjected to a small penalty. Once the user has finished their gaming session, you will be notified again. You will receive a receipt showing the breakdown of how much you have earned from the gaming session, and the balance will be credited to your account within a few days. We are currently in the midst of refining our prototype and would love to hear your feedback in the comment section down below. Thank you very much for watching and this is Faisal Gaming signing off.